Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about uh, the ill stream mechanism that the human being uses while speaking. All the, all the uh, uh, ill stream mechanism that are used in speech. As we know that there are more than 7,000 languages all around the world. Some of these languages are spoken. I'm going to talk about these spoken languages now. There are three mechanisms actually that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have created the, 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 have created them for us to speak. The most popular one is the pulmonic airstream mechanism. Pulmonic airstream mechanism. Again, huh? pulmonic airstream mechanism. Pulmonic airstream mechanism is that the, the mechanism that we are using with our lungs. So, this mechanism uh, has some parts or organs that we use. In the most popular sp spoken languages, like for example, Arabic, English, Russian, French, and so on and so forth, Herpo as well, we, we are using this mechanism, pulmonic RSA mechanism. Pulmonic means that the mechanism that we are using with our lungs. As, as, uh, as we know that the, there are muscles between the ribs in our chest. These ribs, these muscles called intercostal muscles, uh, they behave to press the lungs to empty them from the airstream while we are speaking. And the other one is that uh, it is the diaphragm. The diaphragm here, diaphragm booms and pumps to 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 empty the the lungs as well while we are speaking. So this is pulmonic airstream mechanism. It it it, it moves the airstream from the lungs to the oral cavity or the vocal tract. This is called one. I'm going to, uh, to, to, to write it down, but it is well known actually. Mm -hmm. Like I said, pulmonic. So, pulmonic airstream mechanism. Pulmonic airstream mechanism. And the other one is glottalic. Glottalic airstream mechanism. This mechanism, actually, it, it, uh, the airstream moves from here, from the glottal up to the oral cavity, uh, to the focal tract. Actually, the, the most popular one is that the, the it is with the, 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 the uh, with, with some human being that had that had cancer in their glottis and and the uh, esophagus. So they, they are. Is suffocated, so they, they move the air from the glottalic up to the vocal tract. They, they speak from here. This is a glottalic airstream mechanism. Glottalic airstream mechanism. Okay, and the other one is velaric. Velaric, some languages are velaric, some languages, maybe in the central of Africa, they, the, the airstream goes to the uh, to the back of the tongue and drill them and presses the airstream in in the in outside of our uh, of our vocal tract outside it, this is why it's called filaric it comes from the velum velaric velaric some acts are non-linguistic it means non-verbal this uh, stream, some many uh, acts that we are using, like for example, in glottalic, when we, uh, for example, hold something heavy up, we, we say, ah, oh, ah, oh, this is glottalic. And velaric as well, when we sob, when we drink food, for example, yeah, so this is velaric. But these are non linguistic acts, but some linguistic acts, like for example, in glottalic, the one that had cancer hair in their glottis. Uh, and vil, vilaric, some languages are vilaric. But the most spoken languages all around the world that we know, it's pulmonic airstream mechanism. 
And so bear in mind that some languages or some spoken languages uses the airstream while it is from inside to outside. We call it egressive, egressive airstream mechanism. So Arabic, English, Russian, French, Spanish, they are aggressive, pulmonic aggressive airstream mechanism. Okay, the 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 airstream is out in outside, and some languages in aggressive life. For example, some languages in Central Africa and South America, they are velaric, uh, and they are actually aggressive, an aggressive pulmonic airstream mechanism. So the whole mechanisms are six. Pulmonic, we have aggressive and ingressive. Aggressive pulmonic airstream mechanism and aggressive pulmonic airstream mechanism. Ingressive, sorry. And we have aggressive and ingressive glottalic airstream mechanism and glottic airstream mechanism. And we have aggressive airstream uh, aggressive velaric uh, velaric aggressive airstream mechanism and ingressive velaric airstream mechanism these the whole airstream mechanism that some of them using in linguistic acts on in spoken languages thank you guys for listening